You cannot afford to miss a single moment of the next hour. Get ready to have your ideas about sexuality, love, and relationships blown wide open. It's time to get educated, entertained, and enlightened, as well as sexually empowered. You have now tuned into the Tantra Love Sex and Intimacy Show. Now, here's your host, Tanya Diamond. Hello, everybody. Man, I'm telling you, being on the radio is the bomb. And if you haven't been on the radio before, you need to, you know, need to find some really good story and call a host up and say, I've got this really great story and I want to be on your radio show, just so you can check it out. And today, today, uh, soon, uh, I guess he's going to start being like my co-host or something. Like, am I talking like a valley girl or what? <laughs> anyway, Josh is uh, back with us this week. And we, we, we've got a, a people calling in. And that's really lovely. I love that. But say hi, Josh. Hello, Seattle and the world. Yeah, the world is listening right here to Tantra and Tanya and Josh and our new producer, Nate. Hi, Nate. Hello. So, Nate, you said there's like a, a caller already. Yes. Jump into the bit. Well, just, you know, let's... You, should we just dump her on? Yeah, let's jump. Let's Sweet. See what's okay, going caller, on. prepare yourself. <laughs> Where? You are dumped. Dun, dun, dun. Hello? Oh, she dropped. Oh, no. Maybe I scared her off. Oh, no, that's sad. Call back, right. caller. Call back, caller, if you were there. And if you want to call in and talk to us, and it really doesn't matter what you want to talk to us about because I can make it Tantra, one 230 That's one 230 in the meantime, we're going to talk about things and stuff. Those are those philosophical, spiritual, <laughs> spiritual things words, stuff, things and favorite. stuff. Um, I have got a couple of emails that I wanted to address. There was a man that wrote in to me, and he was talking about how his wife, uh, he and his wife, uh, one of those um, apparently 40 million sexless couples that I keep talking about, um, just kind of lost the magic. And he's wondering, she's, she's found a, a new man that's 15 years younger than she is, and uh, wondering if there's any way to, you know, reignite his wife and his passion to, to kind of win her back. And he's, um, he's talked about, you know, he's read all my stuff about hormones and how, you know, being on the pill can affect relationships when people come off the pill and all of that type of thing. And I wanted to say that, you know, when he emailed me, he said, you know, can you just give us a couple of hints? And it, that's a little hard to do without all the information. But generally, if people are in sexless marriages, they haven't really connected for a long time, there's more going on than just uh, sexual dissatisfaction. And there was a recent survey done where women would give up looks and money for a man that stood in integrity. And it's one of those things where I'm not even sure a lot of people really understand what that word means. <laughs> right? What do you think, Josh? I I agree. It, it's a mystery to most people what integrity really means. It's not about doing things that you won't get caught. Right. <laughs> it's about why am I living the way I live? Yeah. If I were my own editor, what would I think? Hmm. Well, but the problem there is if you have faulty programming. That's true. You know? <laughs> Scratch that <laughs> last a, one. We know somebody in particular that's, <laughs> that, that's actually living like that. Oh, me. So, you know, integrity uh, it's one of those things that makes a man into that warrior that women really want. And, I mean, obviously, if they're willing to give up looks and money, um, and those are two fairly big things, for a man that's integrity, what, is, what does that mean? In my world and other women I've talked to, it's about a man who can, you can take to the bank what he says. If he says 12 o'clock, it's 12 o'clock. There may, you know, and, and there's no such thing as perfect. You know, it might be 12.01 occasionally, or there might be occasional phone call, something's late. But if it's 98%, you can take what he says to the bank. That is sexy. That is incredibly, incredibly sexy. Because it means that when he says, I love you, and when he says, you're sexy, you can take that to the bank. He means it. Right. Yeah. He actually means it. And actually, as in he's not just talking away about something. Yes. Does that mean that women have to be held to the same... Um, Standard? Well, yeah, because I, I, my ex, right, she was always late. But my wife, she's always on time because she knows what I want. Right. Well, I think when, one of those things is now men would not rate integrity as the highest value. So, I mean, that's that's the sad part. If you put a bunch of well, men... Well, that's because men are just... <laughs> well, you know, men have a different standard 
until they are warriors. And as a warrior, you want your woman to show up in the same fashion you do. Um, but integrity is one of those things that's actually more important for women than for most men. Um, a lot of men will sell out, you know, a great body and a little bit less integrity. And uh, that always astounds me because uh, down the line, the body's going to go at some point, and then you're left with the lack of integrity maybe. They're also afraid that they can't get that again. But when they have the integrity, they can choose. Sure, right. Well, and, and training men to have integrity is one of the, one of the greatest gifts that I think you know, learningtantra.com, you know, what you share, Tanya, is how to really, really rise into integrity. Well, we do teach more than sex. We do? Yeah, yeah. It is, you know, it's one of those things where we, uh, learningtantra.com, and, and now, hey, a team of nine, we've just added uh, three more people, a, a finance guy and two video guys. Um, so lots of men. Oh, isn't that great? It's good. I like that. My life is good. Um, lots of great looking people, um, on the team and great looking because of where they're coming from, from their hearts, as well as their physical geometry and, um, interesting. And I'm, I'm, I'm loving this manifesting all these amazing people to help us on our journey. We do, we have a thing called the inner circle program at, uh, at our, at learningtantra.com. And it's really about teaching life mastery business as well as sexual mastery. And, Tonight, um, I believe one of my inner circle people will be calling in and kind of talking a little bit about his journey and what it's like to be in the inner circle program and how this is working out in the business world. Because this is this guy's in serious business, and uh, we're talking multi-million dollar deals. And I think that um, uh, people out there need to understand that when you're talking about Tantra, not Neo-Tantra, but classical Tantra, it's learning about how the universe works, which, of course, means how people work, how we all work, um, how to interpret people, how to use language, your energy, your presence, how to stand in impeccability, because none of it works without the integrity and the impeccability. Don't you agree? Absolutely, because when our minds are focusing on the lies or inconsistency, even if it's small white lies or small, oh, well, that's no big deal, we're really selling ourselves short but we're not focusing on what's really important in our lives, and so what we manifest are what's really not important in our lives. Right, and there's nothing like, um, you know, when you're one of those people that's always late, mm -hmm. and every time you walk into a room, the first thing out of your mouth is, oh, wow, I'm sorry. Oh, right. gee, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, or some excuse. That's the energy you bring into the space. People think of you as the, oh, I'm sorry person. You know, how? what kind of power is that? I hate being late. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's no power at all to be in that space. Mm -hmm. And I do believe um, Ron is on the line. Is that what you're Actually, saying? Actually, that's not Ron. Oh, that's, that's somebody else? Robin from Washington, D.C. She called awesome. back. Great. Robin, let's, let's wrap. What's going on? Hello. Wait, she's there? not on. Hold on. Wait. There. You're on. Hello, Robin. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm very sorry, but I'm back. Oh, no. You're, you're not sorry that you're back, I hope. No, I'm <laughs> sorry I got cut off, but I'm back. <laughs> no problem. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. Oh, no. Well, you're, you're you're talking about men, and you know, there's something I I really want to know. How do you know when? So, I, a, a woman doesn't waste so much time trying to figure it out before it's too late. How do you know if um, you know a person is worth continuing to date or not? Um, I find that they start out great, and then suddenly, I find that they're not honest. They run right. around. They right. have a roving eye. They're not reliable. They're hot and cold. If right. I show, if I'm like skeptical at first, and then I show interest, um, then they run. Uh, I don't. Right. So what do you, you know. what do you do with that? Well, what do you do? Do I cut it off after just two months? I mean, cut I'm it in off. my upper thirties, and yeah, well, no, I mean the relationship. Or right. You know, right. Well, I think I think the problem is is that women don't practice enough discernment. Because we are um, all about potential. You know, evolutionarily, evolutionarily, we're designed to see potential in everything. And so what happens is we meet a guy and there's some red flags, there's some things that go on, and we go, mm, okay, but, 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 oh, but. he but, could be the one. But right. he could, yeah. And, you know, right. and that's completely not it. Um, I look, so when I, when I started dating a man or going out with a guy, uh, I look around at how he treats other people, not how he treats me. How does he treat the waitress? How does he talk about his day? How does he treat the bank teller? How does he treat the traffic? 
You know, there's all sorts of clues on the edges uh-huh. that you need to be looking at. Not how, because everybody's going to be treating, hopefully, you, if he's not treating you well at the beginning, you got to just cut him off right there. Right, and right. Boom, gone. But but how how is it, you know, what's his relationship like with, does he have friends? Does he have a relationship, good relationship with his parents? You know, all of these things mean something. How does he treat dogs on the street? I mean, <laughs> all of that goes to character. And depending on what type of person you want, those are the places you need to be looking. I don't know, Josh. Uh, what if they never talk about their job? They just don't want to talk about it? or Well, do you want to be with a man that doesn't want to talk about anything? No, it drives me crazy. Well, then, next. <laughs> <laughs> next. Just like that. Next. Because while you're looking for the one and you're telling the universe that these other people are okay, the one is walking away somewhere. Because every time you... See you know, sell out and go, well, oh, okay. You're telling the universe basically, all right, I'm, I'm okay with this. Are you really okay with that? No, but I'm just afraid I won't meet somebody else. Well, first of all, there's, you know, I mean, let me tell you, that's just an impossibility if you are actually, if, if, what, if meeting somebody is what you really want to do and um, having a relationship is what you really want to do, then there's two things. One, it takes action. You can't sit around at home and hope it happens. You have to put yourself out there doing things that you are passionate about and things that you like and, and make, it, make it happen. But you also have to focus on what you want. And if, like I said, if you're wasting time on what you don't want, the universe will keep dumping those same things in your lap because it's what you're saying is okay. Practice uh, discernment, hardcore discernment. And I want to say, you know, Josh wrote something. He wrote roving eye down here, and he and, he and I both caught when you said it, roving eye. And I'm curious to what he's going to say about this, because I have something to say about it, too. But go ahead, Josh. What were you going to say about that? One of the first things that came to mind, a little bit unorthodox, but what if the woman catches her first and says, wow, isn't she attractive? It puts it on the table. Right. It's like, you know, they can both look and go, yeah. And then you look back at each other. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't, roving eye isn't a problem, because men should have roving eyes because they've got sex drives. You should have a roving eye as well. The roving eye does not mean anything, that, except people are normal. The problem is, is that if the guy is with you and every single time somebody walks by while he's supposedly holding your gaze, he can't help himself. Then, that, yeah. Well, that, that's not really that. a roving eye. That's an inattentive, not showing up guy who's not interested. We, I call that rubbernecking. <laughs> <laughs> and if someone's at the table rubbernecking, then you say, this has been kind of a pleasant evening. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and and I I really appreciate your time, but let's let's just go ahead and end it. I gotta here. go now. You know, if somebody walks by in something outrageous, I mean, you know, all of a sudden a woman walks by with a skirt all the way to the bottom of her butt with these tall boots on. We're both. I'm probably going to do the same thing. Like whoa. So you know, you gotta you gotta look at what it is. If it's the occasional thing that's just really like whoa, then I don't I cut that some slack. But if it's like every single thing that's walking by, it's like, yo, buddy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Have a nice life. Yeah, you've got to be more discerning. Otherwise, what do you think of yourself? I mean, what you're saying is you don't think that you're worthy of finding what you really want. Oh, right. Okay. I uh, understand. And what if, one more question yeah. to follow up. What if it's very hot and cold relationship and it goes on for a year? What, why is it going on for a year? Uh, well, I just... I mean, I figured they would eventually appreciate you. Oh, they, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they do. They go, oh, you know, you really are nice. And, you no, know, oh, I, do you want a man that just has to take a year to figure that out? No, he, no. Well, if I, if I didn't do something he wanted, he'd stop talking to me. And then, we oh, would get my together. goodness. And, and you, what? what? As, as opposed Please. to telling you, I really would have liked to have had this and open right. up more dialogue. I mean, maybe. Maybe I have a high expectation that more men should be like me and actually tell you what we're thinking. <laughs> um, but what, it's either a game, a pickup artist game, where it's that give you silence because you did something you didn't like, and then you have to cater to them to win your position uh, right. in their mind. Okay, fired, next. Or they don't have the skills to be aware of communication. I'm going to stay in contact with you. Hey, this was a, a disappointment for me, and I really wanted this. And then the two of you get to dialogue and get a better understanding of each other's needs. So there may be moments where there's a, a lull, but you connect with each other when something's in disharmony. Right. I so, mean, okay. so I, keep yeah. coming, I keep coming back to the fact of you, treat, you teach a man how to treat you right off the bat. If, if that's acceptable to you, this hot and cold stuff, then, then that's what you're signing up for. Uh, 
if it's not acceptable and he checks out and you 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 say hey um i kind of noticed that you're checking out a little bit here is there something you want to talk about and yeah, he won't. He'll just ignore me for days on end. Well, then he would be ignoring me forever because I wouldn't be there anymore. And the next time he call, <laughs> the next time he calls you, <laughs> the next time he calls you, you say, oh, "I'm sorry, I have a date that night." Right? Does she have a pair of boots? <laughs> what no. does she need to do? She with just her needs to keep walking. Keep walking. <laughs> just put those boots on and just walk. Keep walking. And you know, uh, really, it does not matter. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're sitting there. If you're if you're thinking to yourself, "Oh, there's some." some way that you're not worthy, you know, how you look, how you how you are. I mean, obviously, if you believe that somehow you need to settle for something like this, you need to work on self. I mean, you need to be your own best lover. You need to think that you are your soulmate. And when you feel that way about yourself, you will not settle for anything else than what really does it for you. And I'll tell you what, that's when they show up. They don't show up when you're settling for all, you're just wasting time with all this crud. And you help teach men how to treat other women this way, too. Uh, so when, when, women, when women stop putting up with that, men have to figure out something different. And, and that's also different than kind of the old model of, of um, women having to be assertive or, 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 or bitchy, you know, so that men know where they stand right off the bat and... And who owns? Uh, yeah, that's not owns, what I'm talking about. Who either, owns yeah. the genitals in the family? It's it's about when we train dogs, okay, men, dogs, whatever, people. <laughs> when when you train them, what's the normal behavior? What's the norm? And if a dominance cue gets missed by the owner, the dog just learned that it's higher up in the order than the owner, and then the owner steps out of line, and the dog gets to turn around and snap. You don't know where it came from. So with men or women, for that matter. If you're settling for behavior and you're letting it get by, then that will be the pattern for the rest of the relationship unless you do something really significant or catastrophic, in which case it's like, well, wait, you all along this was fine and now it's suddenly not? So what are your standards? What is What are your right. passions? If you're living in your passions, the moment something's incongruent with your passion, next. Right. And, I, you know, and we say next in that manner because... For somebody that's working, you've got an old pattern going on because you said, you know, men that, that lie, cheat, do this. These are men that are showing up in your life. This is a reflection of what you are focusing on. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to stop. I want you to take a good hard look at how you treat yourself because if you are not your own best beloved, if you don't treat yourself like you would treat your soulmate, that needs to happen first. So I would, uh, this guy, the hot, cold guy, if he's still around, he's gone. Bye-bye. No explanation needed, really. Um, that's just that's just a game. That's just no whatever. You, he, if he's in therapy getting help for it, okay, maybe you can support him. But other than that, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, support him by telling him to keep doing it. Right. <laughs> well, well, you date other people. Right. And, and stop being scared. I mean, yeah. one of the things that she said her, in the very first time when she called in, it was that she was a, you, you were afraid. Yeah. Right. It, yeah. Right. Stop being afraid. Because I'm at that age that, you know, There's, I have to... I okay. date men 10 I'm years gonna, older. I'm going to stop you right there. I am 47 years old. And in the last 10 years of my life, I have not been in, you know, the Barbie doll shape of the planet. Um, I frequently date men that are 20 years younger than I am. Wow. Okay. So whatever. Okay. Tony's, have, hot. Tony's hot. Well, thank you. But <laughs> there, the, the, the whole point of this is, is that you've got to let go of that societal belief that, oh, I'm this age and this is never going to happen for me now. They said that a woman over 40 has less chance of being in a love relationship than being struck by lightning. That's a load of crap. Okay, <laughs> that's all I have to say is that, and you know, if you feel that way and you believe that, that's exactly what will happen to you. That's what you'll focus on. I'm never going to find anybody. What I want you to do is stop that. I want you to say, I love myself. Go to the, you know, I had this thing on my Facebook. If you're on my Facebook, you can head over there and... um there was a link about being my own best lover if you, you know, scroll down through some posts. But, uh, you know, in, madly in love with myself, you need to do that. You need to understand that, that just going out to find a man just to be with a man is a pointless endeavor. We all want love. We all want to be loved. We all would like to be in relationships of some sort or another. But I'll tell you what, the focus on the wrong ones just brings you more of that. All right, so quit with the fear. Okay. Be more afraid of being stuck in lousy stuff. Oh, wow. 
Okay. No, this is excellent. I really needed to hear this. I just want to start afresh. Yeah, that's what I would do. And I'd take time on yourself. So start fresh. Look at yourself. Look what you're doing. Look where it is. You, you, you know, write down what you really, really want. And then if you're lacking in those areas, work on yourself. Because you'll bring in what you're, what you're putting out there. Oh, God. Okay, so I'll take a month or two off. Yeah. Think about yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. yeah, contemplate. And then give us a call back. Tell us how it's going. Excellent. Well, yeah. thank you so much. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Great talking <laughs> with you. All right, Robin. You have a great night. All righty. Bye. Okay. Well, that's great. I like it when they Ron. want to do that. Ron's on the line. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna hop right in to talk talk with Ron, and um, Ron is an amazing man, and uh, we're gonna see what he's part of my inner circle program. Just started a few months ago, and uh, okay, let's let's jump him on there. Right. Are, are you on there, Ron? Yes, Lady Diamond. <laughs> Lady Diamond. Hello, Ron McElvain. How are you doing? I'm doing well, dear. How are you? you I know. I'm fabulous. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. I do. So, Ron, I want you to, I want you to tell, uh, tell us about your, your company a little bit, though. Just give us a little, little rundown about um, who, you know, your, your passion. What are you doing? Well, I have a patented water filtration system that uh, I've developed over the past 24 years, and it's a derivative of one of my father's inventions. And um, it's been tough. We're a small minority company, and um, we've demonstrated uh, excessive performance excellence. And we've had uh, experts, experts that tell you that uh, you can't do what you're showing them that you can do. And... Uh, I think I told you, you know, I, I've come to conclude about experts. You know, they know 500 ways to make love, but they don't know any women. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, but I, I, I lean that into uh, when I, I met you, Tanya. Um, I was, well, I haven't, uh, over, during these 24 years, uh, in two of those years I was married, and then uh, my wife left, and my social skills diminished because I was so cloistered in the pursuit of bringing my technology to market. And my um, ability to communicate with women just, uh, it wasn't there. I mean, I had several relationships but uh, over, that, over that period of time, but they, they never uh, grew into anything. And I'm always uh, trying to stay in good physical condition and trying to improve myself. And I found out about this, these... Uh, seduction gurus, and uh, I got a, got in touch with them, and I got a link from, I, I sent a link from one of the, one of them, and uh, I went to it, and I saw it, and I had seen several of them, and I just really wasn't blown away by, you know, the, the, the sort of, you know, uh, game and uh, mid-game acceleration and value velocity and all of this kind of, <laughs> you know. Uh, Escalation. And, and, that these seducting guys go after with these uh, with these women. So, but then the, I saw a picture of this lady um, on another one of the YouTube uh, videos, and I just happened to click into it, and it was uh, Tanya Diamond, and she was talking totally outside of everything that I had been listening to. I, I guess I've been listening to this a couple of months, and. Um, you talked about how to communicate with women and uh, about tantric, um, a tantric lifestyle and becoming a complete lover and understanding, being there in the moment with the woman. and I mean, things that none of these guys say, said anything about. And um, so I contacted you, and I just sent you an email, and uh, you answered me, and... Um, I made it into your inner circle. Now, I won't talk about how all that occurred, but I need to tell you something, uh, tell your listeners that, you know, um, when it came to between what I know now and this, this, this short period of time, I guess it's been about three and a half months that Tanya and I have been communicating, and we've only met in person once, and that was that was the day before yesterday. I don't know if it was yesterday. I mean, it's crazy because I'm, I'm on the East Coast, and she's out there. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday. We met Tuesday. She and my man Josh, and, my man Josh, and uh, it, it was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's it's like from where I was to 
what has occurred as a result of talking and, and understanding the uh, tantric philosophy and the approach to life. Um, a lot of really great things are happening for my technology. And uh, when it comes to women, what I was before, it's like you know, I was trying to set the world on fire with wet matches. You know, <laughs> uh, just it, it, you know, it just wouldn't happen. You know? So, uh, but well, we haven't even been. I'm going to jump in here and say, you know, we we started the conversation about you wanting to understand about women, and then we dropped into the inner circle program and started talking about business. And that's where our focus has been, though. Every time we have a conversation, I would say, and we really are talking about sexual mastery here. Even yeah, you do that, and um, <laughs> I, now I haven't quite absorbed all of it, but things have happened so. Uh, starting me in the business that um, I haven't really thought about it. I mean, what I do think about it, but uh, and I'm and but I'm certain that that will we will evolve to that realization in a very uh, smooth transitional uh, sort of manner. You know, and you're being quite humble because I want to tell you that the water technology that uh, the filter technology that Ron has patented and this company stands for is actually global application water filtration as far as being able to remove um, toxins from water at mines and uh, cleaning up water in third world countries. Uh, cost effective more than anything else available right now. This is a global vision product. This is not just Brita <laughs> we're talking about here. This is a very, very serious technology that has the ability to heal the planet's water. And Ron was a little bit stuck um, with some old patterns, and so nobody was receiving him. Nobody was getting it when he went into offices to talk. And we're talking, you know, multi-million dollar people here in business. Uh, people were not showing up to hear about this amazing thing. And so what Ron and I have been working on is basically his um, his approach, right? And, and I got to tell you, I got to tell you, Look, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I've been so protective and uh, so uh, closet, if you will, because I knew what I, I mean. I know what we have. Okay, I, I know I, we, 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 everything that the Tanya just described us to be uh, and more, and 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 that's that's as modest as I can be regarding the, the, the technology. However, it, it's a matter of communicating with people, and when I walk in the room and I sense the hostility that a lot of time I probably brought it with me, <laughs> uh, you know, but when that occurs, then everybody, you know, kind of drops their zippers and start measuring each other, you know, and, and you don't <laughs> get anywhere. So, uh, I, you know, and Tony and I have talked, and I'm telling you, these last three months have been, I mean, I've, I've had these epiphanies that, uh, and I think I was listening to what you were saying to the other caller. You know, see, when you put out there, that's what's going to what you put out there is what's going to show up to you. You right. know what I mean? Right. And um, we're dealing with some major, mega billion dollar companies that, and I'm copying Tanya these emails. You know, uh, it's it just it just you know, it's like you're walking around. I, I liken it to you know. I'm walking around. I'm, I'm a castle walking around, but I'm only using two rooms. You know, mm -hmm. you, you 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 open it up to all of what you are, and you offer that as an opportunity instead of this is what you need, which they do. But I mean, they have to recognize that, and is this my responsibility to present it in such a way that they understand that it's it's in their best interest. Well, and let me liken that to our caller, Robin. So Robin's walking around trying to sell herself um, in you know to find a, a a relationship, much like you were trying to sell your technology. And what I've taught you, and what I was teaching her, was you want to show up as an opportunity for somebody. Absolutely. You don't need to convince them. Absolutely, Tanya. I mean, it, 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 it's it's two different worlds. You know, I mean, I hope she I hope she internalizes what what you were telling her because when you're in that mindset and where you go, 
that type of energy will find its way to you. Yeah. You know, and, and, and look, I had, I knew nothing about this. You know what I mean? Nothing. Um, and about, and, and about what it, I mean, in, in all my life, and I'm 65, all right, I don't know anything about, I didn't, I did not know anything about what a man is supposed to do to please a woman. You know, and I mean on every level. I'm just, I'm just talking about, uh, I mean, sexually, it, more importantly, sexually. I mean, I, I didn't know. I mean, there, there was a, uh, like you say, technique, regional, step-by-step type of uh, thing that you went through that they accepted and maybe faked. I don't know. You know, I mean, I don't know. You don't know. Right. And, and it's so much more. I mean, there's, there's infinitely more to give, to be, to experience that I had no idea until I met you, Tanya. Well, I want to say, too, that you embraced this wholeheartedly when we started our journey, and I would give you a directive or say, hey, why don't you, when you go into that meeting, you know, take a breath here, do this here, approach him like that. You you told me it was 180 degrees from what you had been doing. Well, Tanya, you need to understand. But you, you did know, it. I don't have a whole lot of time to waste, you know what I mean? i got to get it done. Right. And it, the best way to do that is to follow the most sage direction and advice from, I mean, we are so far, so different. I mean, you and me are, are uh, miles apart from, from, you know, culture, uh, <laughs> act, I mean, everything, you know right. what I mean? Yep. But, but however, we were, we were able to bridge that, that chasm with, what you bring, Tanya, you know, I mean, you see, I don't know how many of your uh, listeners have got a chance to meet you in person and look you in the eye, you see, because you can't see that on these videos, you know, but we, we were together on Tuesday, and uh, I look into your eyes, and um, they're, so, they're so penetratingly authentic, you know what I mean, there's, there's nothing that you represent that States other than what you're giving. I mean, you can't see any, you cannot see. And look, I've been through, the, you know, I mean, I can spot <laughs> BS a mile away. You know what I mean? Well, and I, I, I know how to do it. <laughs> I, I know how to do it, and I know where it's coming from. You know what I mean? And right. you, can't, you can't obscure that. And I mean, that's, that's, that's not, I'm not, that's not bragging, that's just experience. So, but I'm saying, you know, the genuine, the giving, the, 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 um, I don't know, an adjective escapes me now, but that... You're not rarely, you're, you're rarely speechless, Ron. I know, I know. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, not a commonplace occurrence, I, I promise you. Well, I tell you, the, the interesting thing to me is that, you know, of course, beyond the fact that all your business associates probably thought you were insane when you decided to do business coaching with a Tantra teacher... <laughs> Oh, yeah, we didn't even talk about that. <laughs> and you just went for it anyway. Yeah, and, and yeah. well, look, it, all, it was all with that, bit, that first video I saw, Tanya, when I first saw you, okay? <laughs> and then I saw a couple of other those, you know, they're like, they're like, what were they, two, two and a half, three minutes? Right. But, but, the, but, but the wisdom you were imparting regarding, and again, we, we, that, that was about a man, how a man, uh, you know, pulled uh, I don't, I don't want to say seduces. I mean, engages a woman. Right. All right. And it is more engaging than seducing. Yeah, engaging, and then all that seduction. That stuff just 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 takes place. All right. Yep. I mean, see, that 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 is that that approach is diametrically different from again that 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 other stuff I was looking at. And yep. go ahead. Well, I was going to say the whole thing about the seduction coaching is you may get somebody in bed. You know, I mean that if and and certainly if that's the goal, a lot of that stuff really really works on, especially women with low self esteem, works really well. Um, but really, it doesn't address anything about being in an authentic relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so so you, you you score, you get her, you get the phone number, and then all of a sudden you decide you really like her, and you've shown up as this completely unauthentic person. She you know she's she's basing her desire on you about how you showed up for those initial date, and uh, you can't bring it. <laughs> I mean, that was it. That mm-hmm. was all you had. Right. Um, yeah, that's not really being an in integrity. And uh, as we talked earlier, women want integrity. But and... that's a, yeah, I'm forgiving. That, that's, that's, 
there you are. I mean, I, I wanted to. Uh, that's, that's another thing I want to bring up while, while I've got the, the opportunity to talk here. You, you talk about integrity and intent and energy. All right. Now, again, I was walking the surface. You know what I mean? Like I say, you 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 in a you're in a castle, but you're in two rooms. You know what I mean? You got a bedroom and a bathroom, right? And then there's all these other rooms that are available to you, and you don't. If you don't utilize them, you know, they just grow dust. <laughs> you know, you got the opportunity now for me at this point in my life, you know, uh, is to complete, I mean, in, in business, my, my whole concern was, one of my concerns was, you know, when we get all this money, you know, women, women you know, they don't care, it doesn't matter how you look then when you got the money. I mean, you automatically become handsome and attractive and all of this, you know what I mean? Yep. And and uh, and you can you can fall into that. You know, be be seduced by that, like some people you and I talked about, Tanya. Yep. That, all, that's all of a sudden, I'm you have all those women around you that you know that are interested in your money, and you can say, "Hey, this is nice." Yeah, you know, that's that's no, no, no. My wealth is 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 earned. Okay, I mean, earned over these years, and um, the women that I'm going to be associated with and and, and attracted to are going to <clears throat> understand that, and I'm going to know it. Okay, I mean that's the thing. No, we're teaching I, I discernment. Tanya, we're teaching see? discernment here too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's exactly. It's discernment. Is it's, it's breathing. It's um, it's looking into your eyes. I mean, you you can you can look into your eyes and listen to what you emphasize, and it won't take long before you know. You know. So, um, look, I, I'm 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 in total gratitude <laughs> myself, and um, thank you, Ron. But to know you, to uh, to have this ongoing association, and if we talk a year from now, um, I think we'll have a incredible report for your listeners. Well, I think it's been incredible anyway, because I, I, as far as people that I've been working with, you have undoubtedly taken every single directive and wholeheartedly jumped in with both feet. You have been seeing uh, what you've said to me is, you know, in the past 10 years, you've been going along, going along, and all of a sudden in the last several months, things are just blasting open. People are giving you what you want in business, showing up in a way that you've never seen before. And it is because of you. It's because you have changed your focus. You have changed your presentation, not on your technology, but on yourself. Um, One of the biggest things was when we talked about you know, not walking in with an assumption and a chip on your shoulder. You know, walking in and saying, I have global vision. Do you want to be part of it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Instead of thinking, oh, man, you know, these people, you know, they've heard this. I've told them this. They're not listening. You know, all that mind talk that undermines what you really want. You're clear. Go into the point. Take a breath. Don't posture. And just beam out. I have global vision. And do you want to be in on this? Well, in that connection, Tanya, I just want to, you know, again, I'll take whenever, whenever I can, whenever you need me to go, I will. But I want to say that 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 very concept, that that mindset that you just spoke about, when it, you know, we, when we were in Calgary Tuesday, and our presentation didn't go very well, our engineer wasn't uh, on it, you know, and he made some mistakes, and uh, then he, we usually leave once we're done, and they continue, um, and if and if, so, I decided to stay and talk to some people, all right? Now, I've never done this before. I've never, ever done this before. And I just said, look, these people up here are not listening to us, but I told this lady, I said, you get it, and I know you do. We have to figure out a way to get this technology installed in these operations, in these all-stands operations up here in Fort McMurray, Canada. I said, and she, and she says, well, look, here's, you know, and I, I well, anyway, she worked it out. She introduced me to Shell, the Shell Corporation. All right. Now I'm just, <laughs> and uh, we've got we're working this up so we can fund the project. Okay. Now normally I would have left with my engineer. We'd have been on the plane flying back. I stayed, and now we have a multi-billion dollar opportunity. All right. Yeah. Well, so, you you learned that the relationships are not always about the business meeting. They're on the back end. And, that, and you know, you're the first one that told me that. You know, I, I I never stayed for the cocktail parties or you know uh, or any you know, and I don't play golf and tennis and all of that stuff. You know, but there's a way to socialize, like you say, and um, 
get a whole lot more done than sitting around a table after a presentation in a question and answer session. Right. Yeah. So, well, uh, it, it's the intimacy. I mean, we're, that's what everybody really wants. People do business with people they feel good about. You know, it, everybody can have a very similar project. One can even cost more, and they'll pick the person that they feel good about. We are a tribal, and even people my, in business. Uh, yeah. yep. That's been my experience. They, they pick they pick the technology that's twice as expensive as mine because of the relationship they've got with that owner instead of me. Right. And now you have learned how to be in the bubble. You have learned how to create that synergy. And, um, you know, I I thank you. I'm, we're going to go on a break here pretty quick. But I, okay. But I, okay. I, I thank you for taking your time and, and calling in and, of course, being part of this Inner Circle program and understanding that Tantra is not just about sex and that really if we come at it from the whole life and business, life mastery, um, it all ties in because you're learning about those intimate relationships. You're learning how to show up and ask for what you want in the business world, and it translates the same into your personal life. Well, I salute you, Lady Diamond. <laughs> Back at you, Ron. You, you're doing an amazing thing, and I am so excited to be part of helping you uh, create a, a, you know, you have a technology that will heal the water in the world. We're talking cleaning up third world country water at a fraction of cost of anything available um, doing amazing things and cleaning up mines, cleaning up. I mean, it just about, you said, if you can identify it, it can be cleaned. Yes. And people need, we'll find somebody out there with the global vision that jumps on this and goes, I understand that our water's in trouble. In fact, there was a, I, I wish I, I'm bad at remembering these things, but there was some huge, you know, uh, conglomerate got together and to discuss what the actual crises are in the world right now. Global warming was at the bottom of this enormous list. And at the top of this list was water, mm -hmm. that we have problems with our water. And people are dying all the time because of our water issues. You have the technology to save the planet's water. And I am just excited to be on board helping you um, make, that, make that happen. This is so. a divine connection, and I'm very grateful. I'm in gratitude. Thanks, Ron. Thank good. you. Dude. Very great talking to you. Josh is here, good, too. Good to hear your voice. Hey, Josh. Ron. Take care, my man. You, too. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be back in just a few moments. of the 40 million sexless couples in the U.S.? Are you wondering why having sex leaves you feeling lonely? Are you suffering from the myths of sexual dysfunction? Do you know in your heart that there has to be more than what you're currently getting out of making love? To rid yourself of sexual ignorance, get more out of your lovemaking, and find out more about spiritual sexual connection, then you need to check out www.thetantrateacher.com to receive your free copy of the ebook called Secrets of the Tantra Teacher. Don't suffer another minute without the sexual loving and ecstatic bliss you were born to receive. Get to www.thetantrateacher.com right now. That's www.thetantrateacher.com. Now is your chance to be part of the show. Call 877-230-3062. Call in with your questions or thoughts and talk with the host and their guests. Again, that number is 877-230-3062. Is your sex life non-existent? Do sexual dysfunctions leave you soft? Is internet porn getting more than you are? Or are you paying more attention to porn than your partner? Have you tried talk therapy and it got you nowhere? You are not alone. You can be freed from sexual shame, guilt, and dissatisfaction. A visit to the Tantra Teacher is in order. Call now and mention you heard the Tantra Teacher on the radio and get a very special offer. Stop waiting for a miracle and call right now, 206-276-2735. Phone consultations or in person will get you the information you need to be successful in your love life. But you have to call now, 206-276-2735. Oh, 
Stop making excuses. Call the Tantra teacher. 206-276-2735. Did you know that you can rate this show on iTunes? The show you're listening to right now. It's true. You can leave your thoughts about the show, the topic, the guest. You can even leave a suggestion. Then, before you leave, rate the show. The hosts love hearing from you, so next time you download this show from iTunes, leave your thoughts and rate the show for the host and for others. And we are back. Tantra, not just about sex. LearningTantra.com, our coaching programs teach people how to live in the world and conduct business in a manner that propels them into uh, global things, mm-hmm. massive things. Mm-hmm. So, Josh, I'm going to let you kind of rat here, rap, rap for a little bit. My feeling is a slightly... So I take my clothes off because it's really hot It's in here. really hot in here. And when I say Tanya is hot, <laughs> I can't even get into talking about that right now. <laughs> One of my my dreams, okay, is I've I've worked with youth, I've worked with adults. Is my dream would be to have tantra being taught in high schools. And people are like what? Oh my god, you got to teach about sex in high school? Yes, but integrity. What's important? What's your vision? Who do you want to be? How do you want to be that person? Because in high school, they're so we were so amped up to touch someone, to feel, to get to the dance, to get to whatever base we needed to get to as quickly as possible and then tell the guys. And the reality is we had no clue what we're doing and we had no clue who we were and we got ourselves in all kinds of trouble, emotionally or you know, financially, you know, having families way too young or just hurting ourselves and each other, not knowing what we were doing. And I would love to see, as we're talking about with, with our Tantra team, it's about integrity first, and that is that ends up being the fiber of every other aspect of your life, including sexuality. Right. Well, we do want to teach. I mean, we we're, want to create programs, um, and even for parents to raise their children tantrically. And I know when I say that, people really freak out because they they don't they're not getting it. But I'm hoping that as they're listening to this show, they're getting that tantra is about you know it's a life a, a living a life, and it's not a lifestyle of sexuality. It's a lifestyle of integrity, impeccability, of connection to mm-hmm. everything, a respect, honor, and um, really those are the bottom lines. And and so if people are taking the word tantra and they're saying, oh, it just means, you know, hopping around and, and having sex with a whole bunch of people and and that's that, I mean, it's bastardization of what it is, really. You missed the point. Right. Yeah. And uh, I've, I shunned away from the word Tantra for a really long time. I didn't use it. Mm-hmm. I used a whole bunch of other things because it had been kind of taken over by people that were just using one tiny little aspect of it. And, uh, but I have been called to say that, um, yes, we're, we're talking with people and teaching people um, how to do multi-million dollar business deals, how to connect to everybody on a level that's so profound and so impeccable with integrity that... Um, the world is your oyster. Mm-hmm. I mean, doors open for you mm-hmm. and because people get it. Like, you know, so you look into somebody's eyes that lives in that kind of integrity and you go, hey, what do you need? Yeah. I yeah. want to help you do it. Yeah. So whether it's raising your kids that way, teaching well, high schoolers respect and honor of their own bodies and other people's. Yeah, teaching them how to breathe, teaching them how to move. I mean, in, in my ideal, it would be a curriculum of dance and performance and breathing and yoga how to get into your body, but also how to posture your body. And I, I have a tendency when I, you know, when I'm motivating kids, like, hey, you want to impress the ladies with this? Do this. And then I'll give them something that they normally wouldn't think about. I want you to breathe deep. And notice that you stand more tall when you breathe deep. I want you to do that more often. And then I'll turn to a girl that's hanging out in that group of teens, and it's like, take a look at it. Okay, go back to slouching like you were a moment ago. You're trying to be cool. How cool does that feel to you? And she kind of shrugs her shoulders. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Stand up again and think about yourself as if you were dancing. Because a guy's dancing? Yes. A Latin man dancing the salsa. The way he was taught since he was a little boy stands oh, yeah. Oh, in yeah. confidence. And that guy starts to stand a little bit. He didn't even know how to stand. But he starts to stand. He breathes and naturally centers himself. And then he turns to the girl and is like, what do you think? And she sort of takes a sigh. 
<gasps> and I go, yeah. Do you want that response? He's like, yeah. <laughs> so did I tie that into sexuality or attraction or appreciation? That young man is going to walk into any business deal from five minutes, two minutes of teaching with so much more confidence. People are going to want to be around him. Right. At the same time, his integrity with his family, with everyone in his life, because now he's standing tall. And I've also talked with them about being impeccable with their action and their word and what really is integrity for themselves. Wow. That's what I want to see. Well, that's what we are on a mission to do. Help the world feel again and help the world live in a place where they feel they feel like they have honor and respect for themselves. Like Ron Robin called in and said, you know, here I am, you know, dating these men. They're not really showing up. And yet we find out she's letting them treat her this way. She's available to be on board for that. It's like, no, no, girlfriend. <laughs> By the way, did you realize you're carrying a sign that says, I only want this? Right. What you focus on is what you get. And whether it's business or anything else, personal skills and um, how you breathe, uh, because what I'm teaching Ron is how to take a breath, how to be centered, how to look into somebody's eyes, how to not posture at them. Uh, he told mm-hmm. a story about this big guy who, you know, they, they, you know, they walked up and he grabbed his hand and he's like, you know, really. And Ron said, he, in, you know, four months ago, five months ago, he would have right back at him. And this time he just took a breath. And just stood there and let his face relax. And the guy grabbed him like, ah, ha, ha, you know. And the next thing they know, he's like spending way longer in his office than this man would ever give anybody time for. And this guy's like his friend and he's turning him on to all these people that aren't going to help him. And that's what's going on. Ron showed up at this meeting and the business meeting, the meeting was blah. But there he is at the end of the meeting, listening, hearing my voice in his head say, Ron, turn around and ask for what you want. I mean, it's a simple thing, right? Mm-hmm. How many people really do it? Authentically ask for what you want. Hey, I know you get what we're doing, and you know it, I know it. Who here do I need to talk to? And she hooks him up. Yeah, and that one moment of, of, of distilling down what was most important, the person standing to his left was the person who already understood and supported and got him in that door in the first place, pointed to the person standing behind him, said, talk to that person. Next thing he knew... In, in a compact 30 seconds, right. he had more than he'd gotten the whole day. Right. So you do have that availability to you every single day if you're listening to this show, whether it's business, your family, your lovers. It doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. When I teach Tantra and we teach Tantra, we teach um, philosophy. We teach a life philosophy. And when you get on board with that, everything gets better. And your sex life will get better. And we relate everything back, you know. Um, I'll tell Ron something and then turn around and say, and that's what would make you a master in the bedroom. Oh, I get it. I get it. So learningtantra.com, nine members now. We are going strong, nine team members ready to really just bring it to the world. And I want to thank all of you for your support and your emails and your phone calls, and just the fact that you, you know, I get so many great emails that are like, Tanya, wow, thank you so much. You're so right on. This has really changed how I think about things. Um, Let go of the fear. The answers are out there. Um, Remember that what you focus on is what you get, and so start focusing on those things that you really, really want. Dare to be, dare to dream big, right, Josh? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Bigger? If, if, If you can't imagine it, spend a little more time. (laughs) <laughs> imagine it bigger get to our website learningtantra.com see what's going on there got a new schedule for the fall for my classes and workshops and uh, just look to us for a whole lot more happening really fast anything to add thank you thank you that's the beautiful voice of josh always inspiring you'll hear back from him some more all right everybody we're out and we'll see you next week been listening to the tantra love sex and intimacy show with your host tanya diamond visit our website at www.tanyadiamond.com that's t-a-n-j-a for more information on workshops and classes hey!